Only Phil Jackson had a better winning percentage as Chicago Bulls head coach, but that didn't save Tom Thibodeau, who was fired Wednesday after five seasons with the team, two years remaining on his contract. Tibbs never reached the NBA Finals, was five games under 500 in postseason, and lost his sometimes very public battles with Bulls management. Now, this warranted a presidential tweet from a certain high-ranking Chicago sports fan as President Obama sent this out. Love Tibbs and think he did a great job. Sorry to see him go. Expect he will be snatched up by soon by some other team. All right, DZ, so that uh, brings us to Tibbs and uh, now the vacancy in Chicago. Do you, do you see a, a young up-and-comer? Do you see a veteran possibly on the bench with the Bulls? What? Uh, I, I don't know if I look at it that way, Vince, versus bringing in the right personality. Mm -hmm. Because Coach Tibbs defensively, like we talked about earlier, that foundation is there. I think you have to bring in someone that's going to challenge Derrick Rose to get even better, to get back to his MVP status, challenge Pau Gasol to be tougher down low, late game situations. Because the skill set and the talent's there. It's about taking these guys to the next level and challenge them how can they get better. Because offensively, like we talked about, late game execution wasn't top notch. Offensive flow wasn't top notch. So if you bring in somebody with some personality to challenge these guys and they already have that defensive mindset, I think they can get where they want to go. Personality. 3D said it best um, a couple segments ago. Them getting back to having fun. They've been so business-like, and obviously you go and play the game, but they don't look like they're having right. any fun, especially in the offensive end. They compete, high-character guys. I think right now it's somebody to open up the playbook a little bit offensively, let them play through some mistakes, and also go a little deeper into your bench and also some yeah, of those guys. good call. Tony Snell, mm -hmm. I saw his offensive flow in Summer League, and obviously you don't compare Summer League to a regular season NBA, but – let them play a little bit freer on the offensive end. Dougie McBuckets, anyone? The, the, yeah, no, I mean, no, that's a great call. Like it, to see him, maybe? Well, to, to Tibbs, that sometimes coaches get a little stubborn. Well, if you don't play a, the defensive style where I want you to, you may not get as many minutes. But guess what? When you shoot the ball better than half the league, you have to find a way to get certain players on the floor. So I think to both of your points, Snell and McDermott need to find a way to get more minutes. I think a different coach with a different mindset can get those young men some time.